This is the statement which Nick Blackwell has asked us to read in full. Chris Senior, you've taken the credit with both hands for saving my life by telling people that you told your son at the start of the eighth round to hit me to the body and not the head. If you were both so concerned about my well-being, then how come Junior threw relentless headshots in that round? How come you told Junior at the start of the tenth round that you didn't want this fight to go the distance and that you wanted Junior to take me out? This is a major contradiction, and he ends the statement by saying and shows you are lying. Right, OK. Well, to that, I say this. Uh, in terms of boxing, the easiest place to stop a man is, is to the stomach, especially when they, when they can take shots to the head now, uh, or hold shots to the head. Now, the referee should have stopped it, in my view, uh, three rounds before. And in me saying to Junior, I don't know why he hasn't stopped it, he's getting hurt. Um, my view was there's, there's no way he can withstand this type of punishment. something, which is it may be a stupid question. Mm. I don't get that statement. Isn't the point of boxing to beat your opponent, to knock him out? I mean, but he was th so there's, no, there's no compulsion for you to go easy. Junior was I've never known that be a direction in boxing. Junior the referee was... should have jumped in earlier, yes, but the fact have. that he didn't is not your fault. Why is Nick Blackwell in a one-on-one -on -one boxing match? Why is he complaining about the way you're hitting? No, I don't I, get it. I mean, because he doesn't think there was any compassion involved in my... Um, advice to Junior. If there wasn't but, compassion, my father would have said, listen, keep doing what you're doing. He's hurt. Go out there, destroy him. Yeah. He didn't say that. He saw, he saw the, you know, the effects I was having on Nick. He saw the, his state and he, he advised me, listen, there's, there's no need to keep hitting him to the head. Mm -hmm. Eventually he's going to get stopped. So just, you know, go to the body. He knows from past experience what can happen to fighters when they take that amount of punishment. But is it the boxer's job, Chris? Let me ask you, Chris Senior. Is it a boxer's job to be compassionate in a ring? Is it not a battle to the end and down to the referee to referee the fight? And if he sees the guy can't take it, he jumps in, which he didn't do in most people's eyes quickly enough here. It's not your job, is it? You, your son's job to go easy. No, it's not my job, and he knows that. But he knew how far ahead I was in the fight. He knew it was no contest, and that's when his compassion came in. He understood it doesn't matter now what you do, you're going to win the fight. So, you know, go easy on the guy, pretty much. OK. Can, can, you, can you imagine if I said to him, look, you've got to step up the rate and actually keep on going hard? Mm. Yeah. Uh, Nick Blackwell's manager uh, has been in touch to say that um, he, unfortunately, Nick Blackwell isn't here this morning because he couldn't make it. The, we called him too late for him to be able to be on the show. But you do, Chris Jr., have a message for Nick Blackwell. I do have a message. I, I've said this from the very beginning that... Um, I contacted him many times over social media and said I wanted to come see him because I had something for him. And that something uh, is my British title belt. I, you know, I felt the fight was a great fight. I, I felt he, 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 he held himself amazingly. It was, a, it was a beautiful fight. His career's over now. So as a gesture, I was going to come to the, ho the hospital and present him with the belt. Um, You're prepared to give him your belt. And I still am. You know, the guy's a true warrior. Regardless of what's been said, uh, the only thing that's important is that he is now OK, he's with his family and he can live, uh, you know, a normal life with no mm -hmm. restrictions. I believe that the belt, uh, as a goodwill gesture, uh, I'm, I'm still ready to come and give it to him. So, you know, that's... Well, I think uh, that's a pretty extraordinary gesture. I hope Nick Blackwell, watching this, takes it that way. I hope you guys can get together and we can try and resolve this. It seems a shame to me, you know, it's such a... Boxing is such a brutal sport and yet always normally, afterwards, the, the fighters hug each other, they talk to each other, yeah. they come together. Here, unusually, mm. there seems to be a lot of acrimony. Yeah. It's, it's, it's purely objective as far as we are concerned. Okay. We are sportsmen. Junior being the British champion, um, you know, it's, it's now moving up. Junior is now looking to actually take on the best fighter in the world in Jenny Lee Golovkin, and that fight will happen in oh. around September. Well, look, well, best, of, best of luck to you with your career. Fantastic achievement to win the, to win the title. I hope Nick Black will takes this as the gesture that you intend it and we'll see um, but thank you both for coming in yeah okay. thank you and our thanks to nick for talking to us yesterday yeah. as well